Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on assign physical volumes to volume groups. So volume groups, um, it's one of those, another one of those LVM constructs, and essentially you assign volumes to a volume group, and it allows you to have obviously multiple volumes in one volume group, uh, and then it, as far as the operating system is concerned, it sees it as one large volume. So what I'll do is I'll create two um, partitions on a single disk for the sake of showing you this, but you could obviously create multiple volumes if you wanted to from, from VirtualBox, just create multiple volumes, um, and then I'll add to the, the virtual disk, but for, the, for my uh, demonstration I'll just create two uh, partitions and then add those to the volume group, and then we can remove it afterwards. So first things first, just let's create the partitions. So it's pretty much as similar as the last video. So just do sudo dash. So we've got my disk here, which is their SDB. So it's currently blank. So I'm going to create two partitions, five gig each, and then we'll add them to the problem with the bar group. So F disk, oops, disk their SDB. Okay, and then we do new partition primary, partition number one. First sector at the start, second sector, we'll just do a plus and then we do 5G for the gigabyte. Do you want to remove this? Yes, that's because I run it before. Do new primary partition 2. Uh, first sector there, second sector can be at the end. This will be 5 gig because it's a 10 gig total. And let's remove that signature again. Okay, excellent. So next thing now is to change those partition types to LVM as we did previously. So T partition number one, and then I think code with eight E. Yep, uh, Linux LVM partition type. Again, do T. Let's do two, and again eight E. And if we do a W to right, and then do an F disk minus L there. SDB, we should see two partitions, five feet each of type Linux LVM. Okay, great. So now we've got to create the volume group. So let's do it here and let's do a VG create or volume group create. The name of the volume group, so it can be whatever you want. Uh, let's call it VG1, volume group 1 and then assign the first physical volume. Okay. So physical volume has been successfully created and volume group VG1 has been created as well. It's just created that. So if we now do VGS, it gives you the volume group. So this is the existing Red Hat one that comes up, we built as part of the uh, build of your point system. This is the one we just added, volume group one. So you can see there's one physical volume right now. There's no logical volumes, because we did that later. Um, and you can see the tributes there, we'll, we'll talk about that later. The current size is around five gig, because we've added one um, physical volume to that, which is of five gig. So we want to extend that. So we'll do a VG extend. Volume group extend, again VG1, and then new volume we've got. So this could be a completely different disk, but for the sake of this test again, I will just select this second partition. Extend volume group 1 with dev sdb2, so it's partition 2. Uh, so volume group successfully extended, and physical volume has been created. So if we do a VGS. We can see now it's, it's 9.99. You won't get all of it because obviously some is used for the actual um, management, etc. Uh, so we've got a volume group of, with two physical volumes. Still no logical at all yet. I haven't built that yet. And a virtual size of 9.9 gig. And three is 9.9 gig. Okay, so maybe we want to decide we want to use that disk for something else. So what we do is a VG remove, or so reduce for this, so reduce, and then the volume group, and we can remove, say, let's remove SDB1, 
dev std1. So it's removed that from the volume group. So again, VGS. And now we can see it's only got one physical volume and it's gone back to five gig around. And then finally, let's just do a complete cleanup. We do a VG remove VG1. And if we do VGS, we've got the volume, not only, only the original volume group. So that pretty much gets you back to where you was previously. So yeah, pretty pretty straightforward, um, pretty easy to do. So it's all again uh, based on that VG command line. So we create the the physical volume first, um, which was those original commands, which was the um, PV create physical volume create, and you can see that that VG uh, create is actually skipping a step for us. Is actually doing the um, physical volume creation as well, which is quite nice. Well, the next step would be to create the logical volume, which the actual operating system can can use, um, and that will be followed in another video. So, um, I hope again, once again, this has been useful to you. Uh, thanks again for watching. Yeah, um, I'll put my Patreon uh, on the screen right now. Uh, please check it out. Um, also, the Sophos information is on the the screen as well here. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a great antivirus. It's got a free version, so uh, please take them up on that. So it's a great uh, free antivirus. Is currently what I use. Well, yeah. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again.